like being in a rock and roll yeah. band or a, any kind any kind of band, whatever you want to call it. It's it's uh, it's you can easily overstep the mark, can't you? Say the wrong thing. Okay, so let's now talk um, a little bit about um, social media and marketing. I think we all understand how important that is these days. I mean, I've had that experience recently with Wayward Sons. I mean, I've been working with Rob. Uh, I'd just like to um, to praise him a little bit here, if he doesn't mind. Um, I got in touch with Rob. Uh, well, Rob got in touch with me initially, actually. And I stalked you. He stalked me, yeah, uh, about getting involved with helping me when I was doing the acoustic stuff and doing some of my solo things. Yeah. Um, and Rob, I, I, I got Rob in, involved because I was completely clueless about social media at the time. And Rob revolutionised me, um, taught me how to deal with social media, uh, gave me the, the, a real honest approach to it, and 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 and, and didn't didn't you know sort of over wasn't overbearing with it, didn't sort of like blind me with science, just talked very real about it. So I've had a wonderful experience getting to know that. And I now treat social media as my friend. I really do. I really enjoy it, actually. I mean, Wayward Sons, you know, very much is a massive part of what we do is social media driven. Absolutely, um, yeah. And, and I, I, I think it's, uh, I think you have to treat it right. I don't think it's exactly what we think it is. I think it used to be just a sales tool, but now it's all about the story, as it's we all know. It's about the story, it? yeah, absolutely. And, 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 and I found that that, from from Rob's advice has been absolutely incalculably valuable because I've I've sort of realised that it's there's no going back the genie's out of the bottle it is here mm. you know the, the the days of selling things and everything being you know because one of the things that what I'm trying to say here and qualify here is that one of the things that I slightly miss that social media is removed is the mystery mm. is the mystery about bands now. Actually, crazily, you can still retain the mystery. You can create the mystery. Exactly. If you're a creative artist like yourself, Toby, you can create the mystery. That's so, the beauty of so it. why don't you? Do, what I'd love, to, what I would, because I love it when you talk about it. I want you to explain to the people out there um, what it is that you do and your passion about um, about sort of getting this stuff right. I, I mean, I come from a self managed. In terms of being in a band, I come from a self managed aspect, and I'm a firm believer that. If you're committed and passionate and have the creativity in you, there's a lot you can do with the business side. Mm. Yeah, be it publicity, be it um, social media, be it marketing, um, be it managing. You know, there's just so much we can do ourselves. And I always feel that when I see a band go and pay someone a load of money, I, I, I sometimes question that because I, I truly believe that that person could do it themselves. It's not until they get to that point where they've got a massive gigs mm. and they're, they're literally like, they might still have to be working a, a part-time mm. job and they just haven't got the time. But they're building that momentum that they actually do need someone to come in yeah. and do stuff for them and, and they warrant it because mm. they're becoming popular. So, I mean, with regards to marketing your band, and this is something that we will be intensively cover, covering within the, the, the consultations, within... Um, the workshops, even within the, you know, when it comes to the music, I think I'll, I'll be coming in as well and having a listen and being a sort of oh, second, set, totally. second set, of year, set of ears. I mean, I think that's it's important to mention here that all of these services that we've been talking about in these they, series they, series of, of, of conversations here, it's fully connected. Both, I trust Rob implicitly, he does the same for me. We both, we're both all completely singing from the same um, hymn sheet. We, we, we have the same ethos, we have the same uh, understanding. And so it's going to definitely cross 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 the wires it, it I think, will be treated you know? the, what the way we're looking at this is this this is like a record label but without the the, the distribution yeah aspects and whatnot we, and almost like an old school record label it is it is it is and and we will everything we do it will be for the right reasons mm -hmm. but what i'd like what i'd like you to do because i mean i know that, you, that you've talked to me about um, you know the aspects of cr of creating social media mm. um, packages for people. What can someone expect? Just as a sort of broad stroke, if 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 you were to you know to get involved with a band that we've been working on that need that help. Everyone I come across who's a musician undervalues themselves as to what they can do with social media. Social media is a powerful tool, and if you've got a creative mind, there's so much you can do. You know, there's loads of different things. I and mean, we were talking about it earlier, about various things that we can do with the Suns. And, you know, there's lots of things. I mean, literally things like polls, things like Facebook Live, things like 
you know, what's hot right now is like stories, Instagram mm. stories and Facebook stories. That's massive, actually, isn't Absolutely it? The story massive. seems to be the, it seems to be the buzzword right yeah. now, isn't it? The story and and that's certainly the way that Facebook and and Instagram are reacting, isn't it? You know, I, I do commend the the, the the likes of Facebook and Instagram. Um, they they've realised that we were heading in a in a negative way with the way we were treating social media. We were using it mm. as a platform to voice. Um, negativities mm. and I always say we've all got stuff going on in our lives you know but, but, but we mostly we should choose to keep it behind the scenes mm. especially when you're in a especially in a in, in a, a band in a, in a hot bed of something like being in a rock and roll yeah. band or in any kind any kind of band whatever you want to call it it's it's a uh, it's you can easily overstep the mark, can't you? Say the wrong thing. I mean, is it? Have you got an example of stuff that's happened in the past? I, that you, that I you won't know? name and shame anyone, but I have seen bands who've got upset because they haven't been played on a radio station or they haven't been given a mm. very good review, and they they found out the Twitter handle of the journalist or the radio DJ and they've tweeted them mm. and and been rude. And and the thing is, it's over. And it's over. What, what, that's over. Once and you've it, done that, you know. It's... And what's key to remember here is that the actual real music industry is it's a very close knit. In the UK, it's very small. Very, very small. No. And people talk. Mm. You know, and word travels fast. So part of what I do with music marketing, social media, PR, you know, Stampede, which is, is, is a, let's call it a sister company to Lightning in a Bottle, it's there as well as Lightning in a Bottle to help educate. So whenever we do anything a part of the process, we'll be educating you and just giving you, you know, tip sheets and you know challenging you and just trying to help you figure out the best next right move. Honestly, it, 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 I think I think bands get overwhelmed with how much social media mm. is and and they get sucked into it too much mm. whereas if you literally sit down for a, an hour every week and just go right okay what are we doing this week we're rehearsing we're playing some shows we're going to the studio okay let's make some social media videos some mm. stories mm. and and just 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 so just so okay so it. so what what it seems to me is it you know it's, it sounds like it's planning Planning. It sounds like etiquette. etiquette I think, I think yeah. there is a lot about yeah. that which is really yeah. important so I, I think this is you know this is this is fundamental need an absolutely fundamental need to what we're bringing as, a, as an entire package so yeah. you know um I, th I think you know i can't think of anyone else better who can deal with this stuff than than, than rob i've i've like i say i've had a very 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 close personal experience of how he's managed to maintain a fantastic level of of awareness and sort of visibility with but without it being too much and getting getting it wrong so um I think it's a really exciting thing for anyone who's who's who's, who's interested in in in, in um, forging ahead with with all that that, that aspect of things. You know? Get on the website, fill out a form, get in touch. Let's let's get cracking.